All right, we're back. It's me, Brooke Santina with the Department of Corrections. I'm the Public Information Officer, and I'm here with Glenn Wharton, who is the president of the Nevada State Prison Preservation Society, and he is here, we're in what, Max? We're in the Max unit. So we're in the Max unit, and he's gonna give us a little story about uh, how this place operated. Yeah, this was actually uh, uh, the successor to that hole that uh, was in one of the earlier Facebook entries. Right. And this was uh, constructed about 1960, 1961, and it was purpose built as maximum security. So this is where we kept all the people that you'd called administrative segregation these days, sure. and also were standing on the on the wing that was for disciplinary segregation. And we used to keep people in here for up to 30 days. And if you look inside this cell, all right, let's go in. <laughs> you can, you can see that it's very small. And it is very small. Uh, you can see that it is very austere. Uh, in fact, uh, what you see today uh, is uh, uh, the residual effect of the corridors that made us put in the plumbing. If you look uh, on the floor there, the okay. toilet, you'll see a uh, scar in the concrete. Right. And when I started working here in 1973, they had a hole in the floor for their toilet and it flushed every 15 minutes. Wow. It needed to or not. It was, it was noisy. Yeah, and I bet. The inmates came in here and the only thing they had was one set of clothes and they were allowed to have a Bible if uh, if they wanted one. And that was it. And the courts ultimately made us put in the plumbing uh, and uh, limit uh, the detention here 14 days. Yeah. Uh, the other thing you do if you walk out this way, you can okay. see it's kind of double, double cell. We have the bars and the sliding door. Right, so you have this little area in here. Why was this here? Well, it was to just give a separation from the, from the inmate uh, and the staff. So there's and, what it looks like from when you're leaving. Yeah. As Man, a, that is austere. As a further separation, uh -huh. we had these solid steel doors. And if an inmate became noisy and started acting out, you took that door and you closed it. Yes. And you closed the thing and Off with the lights. turned out the lights. And, and they got the message, huh? Yeah. Usually? And of course, the courts made us take the doors off. We managed to find these doors mm -hmm. uh, in the maintenance <coughs> graveyard up in the maintenance building. And we had them uh, blasted and painted by prison industry and if you look they look just absolutely perfect because yeah, they do. we matched the paint to the faded faded paint oh. that's here right now. I wouldn't so even think that. We that's have to thank Hobie Rose of Maintenance for helping us with, uh, recover those doors. Thanks Hobie. <laughs> <laughs> but, Very uh, interesting. But, uh, okay. Yeah there's, 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 uh, this was the site of one of the one of the most uh, I guess you'd say terrifying escape attempts we had out of here with a bunch of inmates actually uh, getting out of their cells, taking the officer in here hostage. Wow. Uh, one night. They had guns. Wow. Uh, and uh, if you go down to the end of the hall there, you can see the. Uh, All right, let's do you can it. See the chips in the wall. We're doing it. We're going. Where, uh, where the guards came and took, took control of and fired some rounds. Back in the day when they called themselves guards, yeah, right? That's right. That's right. I, I came to work in 1973 as a CO trainee, and we were the first group, I guess you'd say, that were kind of called officers. Called officers you know? Wow, and when was that? 73. 73. Yeah, and our uniforms are really great. We look like a bunch of bus drivers. Look at this. Oh, these are, these are gunshots. Yep. Wow. That's awesome. How big are these? Look at just for... Just for reference, so you can see how big they are compared to my fingers. That's a big one. These are smaller, much smaller holes, but there's a bunch of them here. That's pretty cool. Yeah, once, once the gunfire started, uh, the escape was over. Now, well, what is right nobody here? Got, nobody got injured in that. Really? Yeah. So what is this, this room? This is the bullpen and used for exercise, indoor exercise. Uh, but also when we had incidents either here or in the uh, this is, and we had a large number of inmates uh, that we had to separate. We would, uh, you could just use this room, and huh? Sort them out in the next day or two. Yeah, yeah. Just put some mattresses on the floor? Yep. All right, here we go. 
Well, that's it for Max. We're going to turn it off and go and visit the execution chamber.